Hey guys, this is Nick. We have here the HTC Sensation 4G. We're just running it through a couple benchmarks. The first one up is Quadrant Standard. That's available on the Android market. Just to give you a little bit of background on what the performance is going to look like, the HTC Sensation has a higher resolution display, so when it's running through the 3D section of these benchmarks, uh, it's hindered a little bit since the, the resolution takes a big hit on performance. Uh, and also the 1.2 GHz dual-core processor really isn't completely taken advantage of by these benchmarks since they are benchmarks for single-core uh, processors. And we have our results here. And the number we have is 1,826. We've seen this range from uh, the low 1800s all the way up to 2300. Uh, so it really depends on you know any background processes you have going in the background. Uh, we just ran it two minutes ago and we got 2200. So we're going to take a look at the next one on the list, Linpack. And this one here, Linpack, it it ranges as well. We, we've seen from about 39, so here we have uh, 43.28, and we've seen all the way up to 52. Uh, so it's all across the board there, but usually within the mid to high 40s range. Uh, if you run it two to three times, you usually get that over and over and over again. So, And benchmark number three is NeoCore, which is a benchmark that Qualcomm put out when the G1 came out about two and a half years ago. Again, this is not optimized for dual-core phones, uh, but it does show us how many frames per second uh, the phone is able to keep up with at the end. There we have it, 58.2 frames per second. 